हेलो वेलकम टुडे वी स्टार्ट यूनिट ट्वेंटी थ्री कोहेसिव एंड डिविसिव डायमेंशंस ऑफ रिलीजन इन दिस यूनिट एन अटेम्प्ट विल बी मेड टू एग्जामिन रिलीजन विद रेफरेंस टू इट्स कैपेसिटी टू यूनाइट पीपल एंड आल्सो डिवाइड देम द रेफरेंसेस विल बी मेनली ड्रॉन फ्रॉम इंडियन सोसाइटी ऑल दो ओकेजनल कंपेरिजन्स विद other societies will find a place in this broadly speaking religion stands for social solidarity harmony or unity of mankind no religion upholds hate violence or imposition of doctrine on unwilling people yet religions in all parts of the world have witnessed hatred or acts of violence in which both individuals and groups have taken part the reasons for religious strife are various some of those will be mentioned in this unit let us move to the next point religion and its various dimensions the transit from one historical epoch to another changes in patterns of living and types of production priestly manipulations and political or social compulsions have had a bearing on religion as religions are social phenomena they not only impinge on society but are in turn susceptible to social pressures but the modalities of conflict have varied the pantheistical religions when believe in a variety of gods goddesses or sacred forces have generally remained tolerant of differences in belief and practice Shintoism, Hinduism, Taoism, Buddhism are pantheistic. In Japan, Buddhism has flourished long with the Shintoism. In China, Taoism and Buddhism have existed side by side for long periods. India has always been noted for its tolerance. Since in pantheism this is the recognition of validity of different approaches to religious truth there is very little to fight for or against a particular creed in the monotheistic religions of west asia such as judaism christianity and islam there is no room for an alternative set of gods and sacred beliefs hence the non believers were treated as outsiders even here there was accommodation of religious diversities for example jerusalem in west asia has been a common holy place for all the three groups the caliphs of who ruled from 7th to 13th century AD were tolerant of non-islamic groups such as jews and christians these minorities were granted special rights to follow their religious system however monotheism lays an exclusive claim to truth the outsiders may be tolerated but they are believed to be pursuing false doctrines or false gods it is this attitude which often led to the bitter persecution of the non believers all over europe christians never forgave jews because they believed they had crucified jesus in connivance with roman rulers the muslims have generally regarded christians as infidels or idol worshipers the crusades and 
the spanish inquisition 13th century ad were large scale events in which religious intolerance played a central part although the pantheistic faith do not persecute others on ground of doctrine yet violence can break out due to other reasons nationalistic or political considerations can make rulers ruthless the great wall of china was started to be built in 3rd century bc one of the chinese ruler who continued this work sent thousands of buddhist monk to do forced labor many of them died due to hard work hunger or lack of nutrition a hindu ruler of bengal sangshaka destroyed a number of buddhist monasteries in the eastern india and drove out the monks although buddhism stands for peace the rulers in buddhist countries sri lanka and thailand etc have often waged violent wars to quell rebellion or suppress political dissidents Shri Aurobindo was critical of Buddhism in India for a different reason the adoption of pacifism by the kshatriya groups in India under the aegis of Buddhism led to the decline of martial spirit however outside India Buddhism has supported vigorous martial tradition the samurai in japan are an example at the same time both in china and japan monks extensively developed martial art to defeat themselves against war lords at this juncture it is to be remembered that religion per se does not support violence the holy text such as the torah bible and quran stand for tolerance and good will but non religious factors have often incited the violence against believers the nazi who ruled germany put to death 6 million jews in different part of the europe ostensibly because the latter were anti patriotic or anti german The real reason was that Nazi rule in Germany drew upon popular support to anti-Semitism. Similarly, the rulers of communist China occupied Tibet in the late 19th 1950s. In the subsequent period, they destroyed 3000 Buddhist monasteries, killed thousands of unarmed monks, and destroyed its artistic heritage the ostensible reason was that the tibetans were rebel against the chinese state the real reason was their misguided hatred against buddhism if we look at these non religious factor it becomes clear that secular violence is much more severe than religious violence here we come want to close this lecture thanks for listening